Welcome, my dear friend, to this reflection number 10 on celebrating God. In this reflection, I want us to celebrate God through and with our children. Children are the gift that we get from the Lord. And as parents, mothers and dads, we need to celebrate God with our children. And this is where I want to throw a challenge. Every child you bring into this world, make sure that they are well provided for. You can't be an international sower doing nothing for provision. As parents, you've got duties. And one of the duties that you have is to love your child for who the fellow is. Remember, they never told you to bring them into this world. Having done that, support them. As you support them, follow them. Know who their friends are. When you take them to school, follow them through their academics. Want to know how they are growing in academics. Take care of your tongue as you speak to them. Your tongue can kill. Your tongue can build. Remember, these children are our legacy. And what is more important to your children, it is not what you leave with them, but what you leave in them. That is what we call true legacy. Therefore, do not fight in their presence. Make sure that you give them a legacy that they can carry on long, long after you are dead. Because God gave you that gift of a child, please make sure that you bring them up well. Be concerned about their welfare. Protect them. Know who are their friends. Take them to school. Follow them through and make sure that you are aware of their academic development. It is important to our young women and also those who are married, when you conceive, conception is not a sin. A sin is what you did, fornication and mention them. So you cannot say that I'm going to abort because this is a mistake. A child is not a mistake. Children will never be mistakes. Therefore, those of you listening to me now and watching this reflection now and you are pregnant, please carry your child to term. Let us learn to show our children where our God is. As a dad, you are the faith mentor. As a mother, you are the family catechist. And please know, if your child comes to know about God from another source, not you, then you have failed. Please never allow your children to know about God from other sources. Be the person to break the news. That is your duty as a mother as you get mentored by your husband. That way, we will learn as a family, as a church, as a country to celebrate God through and with our children. Thank you. As you do that, I want you to know and be assured that I am praying for you. And as I pray for you, please also pray for yourselves and pray for all our families. I remain your priest and servant, Father C.K., Father Charles King.